Do you want to know the secret of making money? Do you really want to know how to make currency? <laughs> Regardless of where you are in this beautiful world, do you want to know how to create income? How to increase your income or how to add to your income? Or maybe you don't even got any. You just want to be like, yo, D-man, <laughs> how do I get paid, bro? Well, if, you, if that's a question that you got lingering in your beautiful skull right now, then I got the answer for you in this video. So be sure to stick around and do me one solid for giving you the key, the unlock to creating the currency and them greenbacks in a pocket full of them stacks, them racks, whatever you like to call them, you young kids these days. And, uh, and, and for giving you, you know, the answer. Because I wish I had this answer a long time ago. I damn near tried everything. And not until I've came across this answer that I'm going to give to you for free in this video, I was not able to actually reach the heights that I've reached thus far. And I'm, and I'm still going. It's a beautiful thing is I'm still going. I plan to go even higher than I am right now. And you might be like, yo, D, won't you just ever be happy, bro? Why can't you just be content? Nah, boo-boo, because we're going to be here anyway, right? We're fam our family is going to live here anyway, right? We're going to wake up the next day anyway, right? We're going to go to bed anyway. And so if you think about like, okay, well, cool. We're, we're all on this ride. Might as well be a ride in a luxury status vehicle. Might as well be a plush ride in some nice leather, not pleather type material. You get it? And so if you had a choice and a preference, wouldn't you want better for yourself? Wouldn't you want better for those around you? Wouldn't you want better for those you brought into this world like your children and created the family that you have today or that you will soon have and for giving you this answer all I ask is that you consider subscribing hitting that bell and commenting after you watch the full video comment what your takeaway is you know if this is your first time uh, coming across this channel and first time viewing the channel or learning of the channel this is what you would comment you would comment how you found me how you found the channel and why you liked it right and that ultimately shares with the community but it gives me that social interaction with the audience so that my videos could pop up on the on the uh, recommended for you tab and that really helps me out because it grows the brand, grows the presence. And it's not just me and you in this room as a gang of us. And so back to that topic, you know, if you want to know how to create income, I'm going to share the answer with you right now. And you'd probably be like, yo, D-man, that sounds so simple, bro. How, how's, this, how's it that simple? And I'm going to tell you, I'm like, yo, that's, that's exactly how I felt. And you might be like, yo, D-man, that's, that's just too simple, bro. It's never going to work. And I want to tell you again, that's exactly what I thought until I put two and two together, until I saw it being done and until it was proven to myself through my own actions that it is true. And all you have to do is deliver this one thing. So before I tell you what that one thing is, let me deep dive into my background, tell you a little bit about my story. You know, I'm no different from everyone else. We all came across that bad interaction or that bad circumstance, right? We all feel that we had our own struggles in life. And if you're one of the rare few that, that are thinking right now, like, yo, D-Man, I ain't never had a struggle in my life, boo-boo. I had everything given to me. I had everything handed to me. I never had to earn anything, so I don't know what struggle is. Well, number one is I appreciate you taking time still to look for this channel. And number two, I think you want to know something about sales because for whatever reason, you're three and a half minutes into this video. And so I appreciate you. And for sticking around, I'm going to give you some tips and taps, tips and taps, <laughs> tips and tactics on how to increase your own revenue so you can stop sucking on your mama's teeth. And so in this video, I'm going to share with you, uh, you know, a little bit about my background. You know, number one is I barely graduated high school, and that's so cliche right here, but you're like, oh man, everybody just barely graduated high school. Let me guess, D, let me guess, you didn't go to college. No, no, I did. I went to community college. I went to Cypress Community College or Orange County, real close to Knott's Berry Farm, if you heard of it. And uh, I took three classes. I couldn't afford it, right? I had no business being there, but because a couple of my buddies were gonna go there and they're like yo man there's chicks in college I was like, alright cool let's do this and so we all ended up registering to Cypress Community College and uh, and man if I could find one of those pictures I'm gonna leave a tab below or maybe maybe leave a link on it below 
and I had no business being there. I had no money, right? I was, I was, I was knucklehead out, like knucklehead out. <laughs> I was thugged out, still kind of a knucklehead, and my only interest in going to school was for the girls. But anyway, my first classes that I registered was like psychology, human sex. Um, I had music appreciation, of course, right? And just like the real basic basic classes that I, I had interest at, with at the time. Anyway, fast forward, the, before e the, even the end of one semester, I dropped out. I was hanging out more at Cal State Fullerton, which is a college that was, you know, a good 10 miles away from it. It was, it was a distance. <laughs> so I ditched my school to go hang out at another school. It made no sense. But anyway, I didn't graduate college, like a lot of the cliche sayings are these days with entrepreneurs and people and influencers and they're gonna say how school sucks or whatnot but I want you to know that you know there are a lot of people who went to school a lot of people went to degrees that I highly respect you know there are a lot of people who went through the school system um, went through the you know the traditional uh, process of getting a degree and all that and I appreciate that man that's discipline to the fullest you know even though they're wrapped up with debt they still completed it and that's a sign of character and then on the flip side, I know a lot of people who didn't graduate high school, didn't graduate college, and they're making way more money. So it, I guess to each his own, right? However you feel uh, uh, fit or how, wherever you feel most content. But that's not even the topic of this video. What the topic of this video is, boo-boo, is how to create that income. And so going back to my story is to, while I was going to the community college, while I was going to these classes, you know, I, I had side jobs, side jobs to keep the money right inside the pocket side jobs and when I'm talking about side jobs I'm not talking about like GTA boo boo when I'm talking about side jobs I had these telemarketing jobs right and some jobs were raising funds for dare um, some were to do surveys on major corporations you know it's basically just telemarketing jobs and so <clears throat> and so I you know I was making minimum wage at the time probably working maybe four or five hours a day and you know the constant struggle was yo man or the constant saying at that time was man i don't got no money oh man hey, yo spot me <laughs> right like we would go out to drinks like hey man i don't got no money though you got me you got me right does that sound familiar around your inner circle and you typically the one who did have money was the one working right you probably had a friend within your circle who just made a lot of money but had no responsibilities and so they were typically the ones that treated everybody because they were the only ones that had money and they're just cool like that right but there comes this inner gut feeling where you're like, man, I don't want to lean on anybody, man. I want to be that person that can provide, you know? Maybe I wouldn't buy everyone everything because I'm not that sucker. But at the same time, I want to be able to have the freedom and saying, yeah, man, I want that. You know, I like that. I'm going to get that, right? And, and, and of course, there are people that you see around you, maybe not even in your inner circle, that you see just are living nice. And I wanted that freedom. I wanted that, that comfort. But I knew I couldn't do it with these little side jobs, these little telemarketing jobs, because no one within that circle was making that kind of money. Not until I became a telemarketer at one company uh, called Town & Country Credit that I, that I finally got to witness and see individuals who were like me, young like me, dressed. Well, not dressed like me, because I was still, still kind of thugged out, right? I was still wearing the white tees, the dickies, and all that, the, the, the white case Swisses, and you know, but I'm talking about like the same age, the same age group. They're ball headed too. They wore earrings and they're young and there are gaudy watches on and you know them them chains or whatever. Two chains. And so I finally witnessed. I was like, yo, man, finally, there's a group that's making the money. And I wanted. I, I started studying from afar. I was like, man, how are they making this money? How are they making this money? And ultimately, what I found out was that they're in sales, right? And I'm like, oh man, I can never do sales, bro. Like, pff, man, I can never do sales. I'm an introvert, whatever, right? I'm, oh, man, I can never do sales, man. I, it's, I have a fear of being rejected. Um, you know, I, I, oh, man, I can never do sales. I don't like asking for anything, right? And then I realized that I was asking for something all along when I was telemarketing. I was asking people's time. People's time is just about as valuable as money, right? You get that? Like, like if you give me a good 30 minutes of your time, you might as well just give me money, right? Because time is money. And so I, I, I realized that I was asking people all the time. And then I was like, okay, well, if I'm already asking people all these, you know, all the time, I want to learn how to get into sales. Now, fast forward, I got into sales, I got promoted. You want to learn more about my story, you know, check out the plethora of videos. But I'm going to summarize it for you because I got to get out and work out with my son. I got to wake my son up and we, you know, we work out, keep my son fit too. And so anyway, 
fast forward, I got into sales and, and uh, you know, I had a real hard time with, uh, with making money. You know, people think like, hey man, just because you hop into sales, like there's a lot of money to be made. But the problem was though, is my focus was money. My focus was, you know, whatever I gotta do, I gotta make 10K plus like this man did because fuck that, I'm better than him. That was kind of like my mentality, right? I was always on the defense. Weird, but that's just the way I was wired. And so, and so I was like, man, how come I can't make money? How come I can't make money? Not until I came across this group that we were all making money. So I want to I want to remind you that it, it is your group. Notice that when I was in this in certain telemarketing jobs, it was not possible for me to make the money that I envisioned or that I thought was baller status at the time. Not until I changed my circle did I experience the outside world, like my, my world broadened, my world expanded, right? And then I saw people with my age, I was introduced into an industry that it was possible to make this money. So I found it and I took the right steps, got into the sandbox, which was sales, right? That was making that kind of money. But even though I was in the sandbox, I couldn't make that money. And so not until I changed my sandbox into a different culture, but still in the same sandbox, did I hit that money? It's because of this, this is that one thing. <clears throat> when I was surrounded by these people, what I realized is that they weren't focused on money because they already hit it, right? It was already given. What they did focus on, this is the one thing, and this is gonna help you unlock. You don't even need to be in sales. You don't even need to know what sales is. You don't even need to be in the real estate industry. This one thing is gonna help increase your income, is gonna help you create income, and it's going to help you find income. And that one thing is this, is that this group, which was already making more money than I had ever witnessed in my life, and ultimately led me to make more money than I ever had made in my life, was focused on this one thing. And this one thing was value. That's it. They always brought value. That makes sense? Even to me, and they weren't selling me. How do they bring value? They, they, they brought value by having the right mindset. So they, they were a valuable uh, circle to have. They were a valuable presence to have around me because they didn't suck the life out of me. They brought value. And by bringing value, they, they may, have, may have said some encouraging words, right? Like, oh, man, hey, you know, so oh, you had a tough time over there. Oh, don't worry, man. You, we got you. This, this atmosphere, this, this office is amazing, man. You're going to love it. You're going to love here. You're going to love this. And they just always seem to bring value. They didn't want anything in return. It's weird, right? And it was just so weird because the, other, the original sandbox where I couldn't make money, everybody wanted something. They wanted that 10K plus income, and that's all they focused on. They wanted you know, the, the nicest car or like the most expensive is car. And cause that's all they focused on. No one in that circle was yet driving it. But the, uh, the, but the branch that I went to where I changed my circle and, um, uh, and again, you can catch a story on, on a past video, but ultimately what happened is these people weren't worried about the cars. They weren't worried about the money cause they already had them. And you might be like, yo D, well, how the fuck did they get them? They had to been worried. No, they weren't because here's why. They're more focused on bringing value and because they brought more value to more people, they got more business. And because they got more business, they got more income. And because they got more income, they naturally got more things, right? And so their main focus was how can I help more people? It was weird. And so instead of pitching a sale to ask for a sale, they were all educators. They were all consultants. And this is why I preach this, the message that I give to you today. I learned this 20 years ago and, and well, 17 right and so and so those philosophies have stuck with me and and since they've stuck with me i've just simply adapted refined and remastered those philosophies those techniques and ultimately it enabled me to grow my income substantially because the more value that i brought the more stability and income and security that i found and when i was able to secure that mindset when i was able to adopt and foster that mindset my life changed and it's weird. It's so weird, right? Because you hear the, the common saying of whatever you focus on, you get. Well, well, I was focused on the money, but I was at the same time, I was focused on the, the kind of the disbelief, right? Like the, my belief patterns were not wired correctly because yeah, I thought about the money all the time, but at the same time, I also thought like, but no one's ever done it before. But 
you know, I'm going to have a lot of struggle. I don't know how to do A, B, and C. I want to hit X, Y, and Z, but I have no idea how to get there because I, no one's ever done it before. There was no, there was no given path. And so all I thought about was, it was kind of like a sentence that I completed, right? Like, I want 10K, but I've never done it before, right? Or I want the newest car, but no one around here has a new car, right? So there was always kind of that but. Not until I got to this group did I learn how to exchange but with and, right? So people around me were saying, the new circle were saying, I want 25K per month and I will get it because, right? Um, and, and, and like, I want the newest car or I want an, an upgrade on, on my car and, and I will get it because, does that make sense? And so they, they just simply adapted to it. They went with the wave. It wasn't like, oh, I want this, but it's hard to get. They were like, hey, I want it and I'm going to get it. It was that type of value that they brought to the circle around them. But when it came to their prospects, their value, their ultimate value was helping. They were more interested in helping rather than selling. They understood and taught me this one thing that the more value you bring, the more money you'll make. Think about it. Any company that brings you value, anything that brings you value, anything that you find valuable, are you not willing to pay for it? And so it's, that took me a long time to understand. Until I understood it, that's when my, my income skyrocketed. Because now I position myself instead of being a salesman, not listening to the prospect, over-talking them, wanting to push them in the corner. Not until I learned how to bring value where I let them talk, I kept it simple, I listened, I analyzed, and I served. That's it. Listen, analyzed, and served. I kept it down to those three components. And then I became this expert. I became a trusted expert and, and consultant upon my service. And because I understood how my service brought value, I was able to articulate that value. And guess what? People bought. They didn't care about my price. They didn't care about my rate. You know, and again, that company that I was working with had the highest retail cost. We charged the most fees. But how, why? Why do they choose me versus everyone else? And it's because I always brought value. So you might have heard the cliche saying, always be closing. ABC, dog. It ain't ABC, bro. It's ABV. Always bring value and watch your income skyrocket. So regardless if you're sales or not, think about that. How can you bring value to those around you? How can you use technology today to bring people value? Because people, there are a lot of people in this world, like 7 billion people in this world. How can you bring them value? You don't need to bring all of them value. Bring a big chunk of value. Be, bring a big chunk of them some value and a lot of them will be willing to pay for that value. So keep that in mind, and I'll see you in the next episode. Bye. Talk and get to it. Hard liquor here. Rip hard, really do it. Hard liquor here. We can buy the boy all night.